Hi, Mugu here. Today we're going to make any visual novels work on the Steam Deck as well as installing them. You'll need to have Lutris, a rewritable Steam Deck, Japanese account enabled, and PZIP. You'll also need a keyboard to type things out. You can use the trackpad on your Steam Deck so you don't need to plug in the mouse. You can either use a USB or a Bluetooth keyboard, but I'd recommend a Bluetooth keyboard because it's the easiest to set up. You can do that in the Steam OS game mode and it will carry you over to desktop mode. To make life easier, open this video up in your Steam Deck browser. You will be using the terminal to set things up. Every command I type in the terminal will be in the video description below as well as the download link to the special fonts you need to the visual novels. You can download the fonts right now to save on time. And without further ado, let's get going. First, let's get to installing Lutris. We we'll want to open up the console, which is the same thing as Terminal, but on the Steam Deck. Go in the description and copy this command. Then, click Paste on the console window. Tap Enter. You will want to have the highest numbered version. In this case, it's number 6 and then number 3. This should take a few moments. I already have it installed, so I'm going to write 0 to a board. And then I'm going to type in clear to tidy things up in the console window. Next, we're going to make the Steam Deck read writable so we can enable Japanese support later. Note, you may not have to do this anymore if Steam decides to release an update that enables Japanese locales directly in the settings. For now, as of SteamOS 3.3, you will need to do this. You might have to do this on every SteamOS update because of the way that SteamOS works. It may reset your locales. If you have a brand new Steam Deck, you won't have any passwords set. So type in password, like that. I won't be pressing enter as I already have a password. Then you want to remove the chains on your Steam Deck by typing in sudo steamos dash read only disable. You'll be prompted to enter the password you just set. Done. Your Steam Deck is now read write enabled. Let's get Japanese Lukas support. And put these commands shown on the screen. Note, the dashes are two dashes. Make sure to have them. You'll be greeted with a long list of locales. Find this one on the screen. There's only one. You'll want to delete the hashtag in front of the JADJP locale. It's the only one you need to change. Next, input in Ctrl and X at the same time to exit out. And then type in Y to confirm your changes. Next, you want to input in sudo locale-gen. And if you get an error, simply just type in sudo pacman-sglibc, only one dash. Now, it didn't give me any errors, so I'm going to write in N instead. Done. Japanese locale is now enabled. Open up Lutris. We're going to need Proton GE to ensure maximum compatibility. In Lutris, this is easy to install. Hover your mouse over to the Wine section and click the small folder. It will show Manage Versions. Click Install on Lutris GE Proton 6-16. I already have it installed so it says uninstall for me. Wait, and then click OK, and that's it. For the vast majority of visual novels, you only need two engines to run them. This is called a wine prefix. You can put these engines anywhere that you want, but for convenience sake and this guide, put them in your documents folder. Open up the file explorer, click documents, and make two folders called Tymoon Engine and Visual Novel Engine. The reason why we're making two separate ones is that they're going to be using two different components that aren't really compatible with each other. The Type Moon engine would use lab filters, while the Visual Novel engine would use FFD Show. Now let's open up Lutris to set up our VN engines. Click on the plus sign to add a game. Add locally installed game. Type in the name of the Visual Novel. I'll be using Fate's Day Night as an example. Select the runner to be wine. Next, go to Game Options. In the Wine Prefix field, which we were talking about earlier, we want to look for the folders we just created. Go back to your folders and right-click Type Moon Engine, and then click Copy Location. 
paste this location back into the wine prefix field. For prefix architecture, select 32 bit. Next, in the runner options, select Proton GE as your wine version, the one we just installed. And then uncheck DXVK. For every visual novel, you want to do the same setup with only a little color changing for Japanese only games or a different engine. Click the little wine glass and then click bash terminal. Next, go in the video description and input these commands shown on the screen. Paste the command back into the console by pressing Ctrl, Shift, and V at the same time. You'll get a long list of lines. It's going to install every dependency you need for the engines. Leave everything default and give no information to Microsoft. If you get any error messages, just click OK or Close. When it's all done, we need to do the same thing for the Visual Novel Engine. This time, replace the Wine prefix with the Visual Novel Engine. Go back to your documents and right-click the Visual Novel Engine and click Copy Location. Paste the location into the Wine prefix and then click Save. Back into the bash terminal, copy the commands from the video description and rinse and repeat. Control Shift and V to paste. After everything is installed, we have one more thing to do to run the games. Go to the fonts that you've just downloaded in the description. Then we're going to extract them into each engine. Each engine is like a mini Windows container. You'll have your Windows folder in your Drive C and Fonts folder. Drag and drop all the fonts into the Fonts folder in each engine. You can now run any visual novel. Let's test it out with a few games like Fate and a Japanese only VN. Fate Stay Night is a Type Moon game, so we will need to use the Type Moon engine. I'm going to find where Fate Stay Night's EXE is and copy its location. Then back into Lucha's configuration for Fate. Paste Fate into the EXE field in the game options. Click Save and then click Play. Open the Discover app, search and install PZIP. After, navigate to the ISO file. 
right click the ISO and open with pzip or other applications if it isn't already there. Click extract, leave everything by default and click OK. The extracted files will be in the same folder by default. For this example, I'll be installing Subahibi. After extracting, you must rename the folder to English so that one can install it properly. Find a setup exe and copy its location for the exe field later. The VN setup is the same as any other VN, except since this Subahibi is Japanese only, we need to add special options in the Lutra's VN configuration. Go to the last tab, System Options, and scroll down to Environment Variables. Add these two variables. You need to press Enter after each value is entered to ensure that the field is saved. And then click Save. You will also want to replace any Japanese text with English in the setup.exe install path, otherwise it will give you an error. By default, it will install whichever is engine's folders drive C that you chose. I'm going to assume it's the BGI EXE that is the game's EXE. The game crashed because I was moving the files while it was still open, so don't do that. Close everything first. Now since we already put the setup EXE as the Lucha's configuration earlier, we'll want to replace it with the actual game's EXE. Everything works. Now you can run any visual novel as you like. You can add any visual novel to the SteamOS game mode really easily by right-clicking the VN in Lutris and then click Create Steam Shortcut. If it doesn't show up in Steam, don't worry, exit and reopen Steam. Then it's easy to make a custom VN launcher. Generally, you want four pictures to set up any custom game in Steam. A portrait picture, a banner picture, a logo, a mini landscape header picture, but optionally an icon picture if there is or if you want one. You can easily get them from steamgriddb.com and mix them up with the ones that you like or don't like of a search engine.
And Super Heapy is also a Steam game known as the Wonderful Every Day. I'll check the Steam Grid database. For convenience purposes, I made a folder in documents called Steam Grids, and another one called Sibahibi. Download all four to five pictures that you want and name them accordingly. To set the art, Right click where your banner is supposed to be, navigate from home, deck, to wherever you put your Steam Grid pictures. If you can't find a picture, make sure to select all files to see everything in the folder. To set an icon, you'll want to right click the game and then click Properties, and then click on the icon. You'll want to launch the game once via Steam to get the landscape version of it. Then right-click and set Custom Artwork. Unfortunately, the Steam scrolling is not really cooperating with me, so please bear with me. Is that a portrait for the visual novel? And you're all done. It will appear as a native title in SteamOS game mode.